Hi there, my name is Susan Poole and I'm known as the B&B Coach. I made this video to tell the true story about what it's like to own a bed and breakfast. Do you love to meet new people, cook, entertain? Do you dream of running a successful bed and breakfast? If you answered yes to the above questions, then owning a bed and breakfast is a great way to do it and make a living. However, you must be prepared for the reality of it before you make the leap. As I found out when I owned my B&B, the benefits include making friends from all over the world, having people pay you to cook, clean, and do laundry, and appreciate it, having being able to deduct a portion of your living expenses off your income tax, being your own boss and setting your own schedule, using technology to make it easier to market and run your B&B, and when you're ready to move on from the B&B, you have a nice nest egg. However, owning a bed and breakfast isn't as simple as it looks. People who already own a B&B also contact me. They tell me they're working themselves to the bone every day just to make ends meet. They rant about how terrible their guests are. They feel like they're slaves to their business and it looks nothing like the vision they had when they threw open their doors. They have invested their life savings and feel trapped. Chances are you've been thinking about starting a B&B &B of your own for a while now. Such a business venture has labor of love written all over it. Believe you me, I know. Are you wondering, how much money can I make? Will I be able to run the B&B &B and still have a life? How do I get people to stay? I get emails asking those very questions nearly every day. Did you know that in Canada, 70% of B&Bs earn less than $30,000 annually? And in the US, the average net income is $15,000. Hardly something to dream about, is it? If you've read a book or two, they tell you you need between three and eight rooms in order to make a living. Okay, but how do you know how many you need? If you've asked actual bed and breakfast owners your questions, it's often like reading the books. Well, it depends, but no one can tell you what it depends on. If you're like me, you need concrete information so you can apply it to your personal situation. I say all of that to impress upon you how important it is to have a solid source of support and guidance for your journey to B&B &B ownership and management. I had to figure it out the same way. Without anyone to ask, I calculate I wasted three years and almost $100,000, not to mention all the gray hairs. I sure wish I had, would have had a mentor or guide to help me when I was getting started. But finally, after years and years of figuring things out the hard way, through trial and error, I am finally in a position to be the guiding light for others. And I don't take that responsibility lightly. So, if you don't want to risk your entire life savings, if you don't want to have to work so much that you don't get to have a personal life, if you don't want to have guests staying with you who make you feel like you're a servant, then you need to take the guesswork out of owning a bed and breakfast. Here's the good news. You don't have to be part of these sad statistics. My goal as the B&B &B coach is to help make sure that owning a B&B &B will be the dream you are hoping for and not the nightmare others are trapped in. In a few days, I'll be sending another video which I'm sure will help you understand the realities of owning a bed and breakfast at a much deeper level. You know what they say, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. If you have any questions in the meantime, please feel free to reply to any of the emails I've sent and I'll reply to you personally. Until then, have a great day.